Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many JavaScript developers encounter. Our viewer is curious about how to assign multiple values using the ternary operator. They tried a couple of approaches, but ran into errors. Let's dive into their question and see how we can clarify this concept. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video, cheers. Let's address the question of assigning multiple values using the ternary operator in JavaScript. The ternary operator is a concise way to perform conditional assignments. However, the syntax you tried is incorrect. You cannot declare variables using var inside the ternary operator directly. Instead, you can use an object or an array to hold multiple values. In this example, if the condition is true, we create an object with both values. If false, we return another object with default values. This way, you can effectively assign multiple values based on a condition using the ternary operator without running into syntax errors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Assigning multiple values using the ternary operator directly results in a syntax error. Instead, you can make separate calls for each value. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. You can assign multiple values using the ternary operator in JavaScript. Here's a simple example. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This user demonstrates how to assign multiple values using the ternary operator in JavaScript. They define a function that generates random three-digit values based on the input size. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The ternary operator syntax is condition null xpr1, xpr2. You can declare multiple variables like var val1 equals 999 and var val2 equals 100, but this is not an expression. To use it in a ternary operator, you can use the eval function, but it's not recommended. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To assign multiple values based on a condition, it's better to use an if statement. For example, if size equals 3, you can set val1 to 999 and val2 to 100.
While ternary operators are useful for assigning values, they should be used correctly. For instance, you can assign val1 based on size using a ternary operator. If you're not assigning a value, or if the second value is ignored, it indicates a potential issue in your code. Always look for simpler solutions. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.